Hello guys and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC review. This is the title video and the thumbnail. We got a nice big revolver from the guys at Taurus and this is the Regent Hunter. Now Regent Hunter has been very popular for the last several years and they always have some great quality firearms. No exception from Taurus. They have come a long ways and they keep bringing some awesome stuff. Um, this has been very popular in the hunting community. I'm not much of a hunter now but I used to be in my younger days but um yeah, definitely like to try some new stuff and revolvers are not one of my uh, strong uh, experience uh, firearm, but I uh, like to shoot them depending on what caliber they are. But now this one's going to be the 357 mag. Uh, you can also shoot 30 as special plus B if you like to. Uh, again, this is the Regent Hunter and this is the two tone. We got all black as well. And yeah, pretty nice. They do come in different length barrels. Now this is going to be the 6.75 inches in length barrel, as well as going to be again the 357, and we're going to shoot some of that in 38 special as well. Uh, it does have a adjustable rear side with fixed front side, Picatinny rail, uh, nice oversized grip. Uh, it is a double action, single action revolver. The overall is 12. 0.25 overall uh it weighs about 53 ounces so it is a little hefty so it managed to recoil real well uh it is a six grew barrel and uh it's a seven round uh cylinder and it has a uh double or dual lock uh cylinders which uh they're right here typically you only have one a uh, lock cylinder here which you mash and releases the cylinder but with this one you can you have to press this additional tap right here down and at the same time and then you can release your uh cylinder as well as you can see uh your ejector rod here very nicely uh ejects the casings and yeah overall very nice uh trigger not sure the weight of the trigger pull but it is very nice no action long pull right there not a bad trigger uh, it is a heavy trigger but you know single action be the best way to shooter get that nice uh, trigger pull as well but anyways uh, yeah definitely uh, check out Taurus again they have this uh, different caliber as well if I had to mention they do have it and the 460 44 Magnum 454 Casual uh 500 magnet as well but let me know if you like to see any of the other calibers as well i never shot one or the 500 or the 454 casual or even the 460 as well um i think i shot the 44 magnet but on that this is gonna uh 357 um you know and was so expensive for 357 on up so we're gonna shoot a few rounds shoot on paper see how accurate it is uh at, at 10 yards and we're gonna start with 38 special then 357 the ammo we are gonna be using uh we're gonna be using uh pmc bronze 38 special uh this is 132 grain and then we have some uh precision one ammunition uh this is gonna be 357 Magnum, 100, uh, 158 grain full metal jacket, and they're both full metal jacket, as you can see right there. And it is not cheap, like to see. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's uh, move to the paper tire, take some few shots, and see how accurate it is with this Raging Hunter. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're going to start with the 38 Special, but just want to give you a comparison of th uh, 38 Special and 357. I don't know if you can see that, but 357, 38 Special is slightly longer, but yeah. We're going to start with the uh, 38 Special and then we'll move to 357 here in a second. Seven rounds cylinder. And again, we're about 10 yards. We're going to shoot at this paper target. And we're going to shoot single action just to get the best accuracy. Uh, you know, double action is not the best, but here we go. All right, we'll shoot at the bottom left.
Very fun to shoot 38 special rounds in this. Very soft, mild recoil, no recoil, just about none at all, really. Especially with the porter barrels, if I didn't mention, it's got porter barrels on the side. So that's really going to manage the 357 round. All right, let's go ahead and load up 357. Uh, so far, it looks like it's shooting a little low for me. Let's see what the difference will be with the 357 if I aim about the same. And we're going to shoot at the uh, top right corner. And then we'll go check out and see what the target looks like. All right. 357. Top right corner. And as you can tell, that 357 got a little more hump to it. But it's still manageable with the recoil. Again. All right. Let's check out the target right quick. Again, guys, check out the links down below. Discount codes and all that good stuff to help me out. That's best support channel. All right. Let's see if I can get you on the thing here. Put this down. All right. So, all right. So, 38 special. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven on the bottom, shooting a little low with the 357. I mean, uh, with 38 special, sorry, 38 special round. 357, it's about the same. Uh, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about the same. I was aiming halfway, so maybe it's shooting a little low for me. Uh, but that's at about 10 yards or so, a little less. And not bad at all. All right, let's continue shooting. All right, guys, so we step back. Just for fun here, I don't know, we're about 20, 25 yards from the paper target, and it's a steel target right beside it. Crack tactical, I mean, crack tactical, sorry. Uh, it's the steel target. We used to make sure to check those guys out. All right, as you can see, we got the same paper target. We're going to be using 38 Special, and we're going to shoot that same paper target in the center mass, see what kind of accuracy we get at 25 yards. Again, not the best shooter, but we're going to try our best. We're going to Aim down center and see what we get, and then we're gonna shoot the still target. All right, here we go. Can't really see what I got there, but we'll take it out here in a second. Check it out. I mean, let's load up some more 38 special and uh, just see how many times I can hit that steel target from here. Really like this revolver, especially with 38 special, using ammunition. Uh, of course, it all depends what caliber you want to use, but 38, 38 special is a pretty nice, hefty little round. It's been around for a long time, and no doubt about it, it does, does the job especially in a revolver. All right, let's see how many times we can shoot that steel target again. Steel target right over there, right beside the paper. Hopefully I'm not covering the shot here, but here we go. All right. All right, seven for seven, not bad at all. I tell you, this uh, Raging Hunter is very accurate, again, depending on the shooter. But other than that, that single action is very nice. Uh, let's see if we can do a double action standby. Well guys, I almost forgot to show you the target at a long distance when I was shooting in a center mass. But as you can see, we got one, two, three. Not sure where the other ones went but that's at 20 or more yards. I say 25, 30 yards away. Using 38 Special, of course, again, it's shooting low for me. Should have aimed a little bit higher. Maybe I would have got somewhere around here, maybe. But there's one, two, three. Like I said, I'm not sure where the other rounds. Oh, there's one right there. So that's four. Maybe one of these is another one. But again, 
at 25 yards, single action. I'm sure you can do better than that. All right, guys, let's continue shooting. All right, guys, we got some old 30 yard special here. We're going to see if we can hit that steel target just with the uh, double action here, using double action. Let's see how, how accurate I can be with it. Here we go. Nope. Go no action, sorry. There you go. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Not very accurate with the uh, double action for sure. Single action would be the best way to go. But again, uh, that double action, it is heavy pull. Uh, throws my shots off very very bad so but if you put a red dot if you want to go that way again a lot of people use this for hunting uh they put a scope in here like a scout scope so that way you can point in front of you and find your reticle or whatever it may be your edge reticle your scope sights whatever but it is adjustable on the rear so you can adjust it i don't think it needs any adjusting but on that it feels real nice and everything only thing about it is being hot here in the summer and everything uh, the grips are a little bit slippery for me. They're starting to get slippery. But other than that, it feels good. Uh, I just need a little more texture in my grip. But yeah, I definitely like it. All right, let's continue shooting and give my final opinion. So stay tuned. All right, guys, what I think about the Raging Hunter from Taurus. I really like it, really enjoy shooting. This size, it just fits me real well. Um, glad I went with this size other than the longer barrel, but this size is definitely a good size for 357 for sure and 30 special. Again, if you're looking for something like this, make sure to check out Taurus. I appreciate those guys for sending this for me to check out and review. Really enjoy it, definitely will recommend it. Uh, if you're looking for a big boy revolver, and again, very accurate. Uh, again, depending on what kind of ammo you use, it's not going to be much different with the revolver, in my, my opinion. Uh, it just depends how accurate you are of a shooter. But those ports there definitely help for sure for the recoil and everything. Um, again, those doesn't have a row on the bottom, but those have one on the top for your optic, red dot, whatever you may use. And I really like the two-tone color. Really definitely like it much better. The only really con I have about this is the grip. The grip size is good. It's just the texture is not good enough for me, for myself being. My hand sweats a lot. It's a humid, hot out here, high 90s. And definitely after a while, it starts getting slippery. And yeah, definitely. But other than that, I like it. I really like it, enjoy it, definitely. Let me know what else you want to see from there. Any other calibers or the size revolvers from Taurus. Let me know, comment down below if you have any experience with the Raging Hunter. And definitely, definitely will recommend it if you're looking for something like this. MSRP, uh, I think it's $10.99 or $10.39, something like that. But yeah, you can find a lot cheaper than that, uh, in my opinion. And it all depends what size, bro, and caliber you get. Price is going to vary depending on that and everything else. Again, check out Taurus. Appreciate those guys well. Check out all the other products I have reviewed in the past. I'll link some in the end here as well. If you're new to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up. Pretty appreciate it. Also, if you're new, subscribe, like, share, turn notification bells on so you know when new videos come on. That way you get notified when anything comes up as well. There is a thanks old membership button. You can donate that well as well. It's not necessary, but the thumbs help the most. And I appreciate those. I uh, appreciate everybody as well. And as usual, follow me on all social media, Instagram, all that good stuff where you can see what's coming up on the channel like this Raging Hunter here. And as usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.